Hey folks, this is Duke of Dads coming at you with another movie review. By the way, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's movie is going to be a movie called Hush. And it's a 2016 movie. Um, it's about an hour and uh, 21 minutes long. It stars John Gallagher Jr. and Katie Seagal. Katie Seagal plays a woman who is deaf. And she's a writer, goes out into, way out into the woods, away from the city life and everything, to get away from her life and write her new novel. And slowly but surely, she is being stalked by a killer. And the killer is played by John Gallagher Jr. And this movie is directed by Mike Flanagan. Uh... As far as the storyline goes, the only thing that I thought, that it was a good storyline. Before I get on to the negative, it was a good storyline. The only thing I had an issue with is there was no motivation for what the killer was doing. You know, there was no explanation why he was just killing people. And I know that there are times that killers just kill for the sake of killing. But... There had to be a reason why this guy was doing what he was doing, but never said it in the movie. Not once. So that kind of perplexed me, but all in all, it was a good movie. Really uh, had me on the edge of my seat a couple times. Um, I dated black, the, excuse me, I dated deaf people in the past, and I can imagine what it would be like to not be able to hear every sound in your home and not knowing if there's someone in your home. So the whole that whole dynamic played out in the movie and I think that's what made it such a good movie because you, you just you felt so sorry for the poor girl because you couldn't hear anything and she used what she used her other senses because when you lose one the others get heightened you know like if you go blind your sense of touch gets better your sense of smell gets better taste gets better all those things get better when you lose your hearing all the other senses get better so that plays out in the movie as well and that and I tell you, one of the best movies I've watched in a while. I really, really enjoyed this. And I think you will, too. Uh, I found it on Netflix. Um, I gave it five stars because I just thought it was really good. There, there was some more they could do with this story. And maybe down the road there might be a reboot of it. Because, for one... Uh, at the beginning of the movie, the killer is wearing a mask. I thought the killer's mask made him look more evil and really um, conveyed that feeling of that there was no emotion behind this killing. And I personally think they should have left the mask on. And sorry to give that away, by the way, if, if you don't want to hear any bloopers or... Uh, giveaways you better just turn this off right now because i'm going to say a few things and if it's in the movie you might want to turn this off okay but um uh, another thing is they could have done more with the storyline even though the storyline was solid really solid they could have done a little more with it so I'm thinking there might be some room for either a sequel or a reboot, so, you know, I, I sincerely hope they do consider that because this was a good movie, and they don't really, oh, let's just say the way the movie is ended, it's kind of... Kind of left some room for maybe a possibility of some, something like that. But I'm not going to give that away either. Just do me a favor. 
get your butt on Netflix or Hulu or wherever you can find this and watch it because I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review and folks, please come back and enjoy my channel again. This is Duke Does saying do good and deuces. Bye bye.